Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're gonna be talking about Farmer's World, and I just want to give you an update on how my farm's going. We're gonna look at some of the new tools that I have, and we're gonna take a look at what, how much, how much is my farm producing? What's the ROI on my farm now? Um, now that I've expanded and things are rolling, so let's take a look in game here. When I started, I started with three barley. And eventually I got like an, an extra corn seed and then I got like two extra barley and then I finally finished eight of eight. So I have, um, I think I have six barley and two corn. Sometimes I'll have, I'll have four corn and sometimes I'll have three. It just depends. I like to keep it a good mix. I really do like the farming part of it, even though it's like a whole week long before you see, uh, your harvest. I do enjoy it. It's nice being able to click every four hours. Thankfully, it's not like every hour or something like that. I think that'd be a lot of overwatering. Even every four hours is probably a lot of watering, but um, real nice and simple. I just go down the line, water each one of these things. The nice thing about the way that I, I was able to join um, or to start playing Farmer's World is I wasn't able to get all my seeds planted at once. So as you can see, these ones are brand new, fresh. I'm going to get the first watering on them in 32 minutes. But the nice thing about having them at different planted at different times is basically I'm not always selling them at a, like a higher price. I'm not always selling them at a lower price. Um, it's just kind of like a, in a way it's kind of a roundabout way of um, like a dollar cost averaging. You know what I mean? I'm not always getting it at the worst time, not always getting it at the best time, but overall throughout the week, I'm just getting, um, I'm harvesting and it's, it's nice because sometimes I harvest on Sunday. Sometimes I'll have an, some extra harvest on Monday uh, and then, you know, Thursday or whatever. So it seems like not every day I'm harvesting some of the crops, but um, maybe every other or every third day. So I think that's kind of neat the, the way that that worked out because I didn't plant it all at once. I was able to um, I was able to just get my seeds gradually. And now that's kind of how my harvest comes in gradually under the tools my mining tools so i think last we talked and i mentioned my farm or whatever i had two ancient stone axes and then i i seen that the regular stone axes were a pretty decent price so i kind of just got that on a dip i got this the stone axe uh, i just kind of reinvested some other assets and I actually picked up two stone axes. So, so I ended up parting ways with one ancient stone axe. Got the two. Today, I got a regular axe. So, I think that's really neat. So now we have a lot of wood chopping tools here. And I'm basically using every slot. Yeah, because you start with two. You can have two wood tools. And then I have two membership cards unlocking two additional slots. And now we have four tools. So... I think the play here would be to maybe get one more stone axe. All I know is uh, we're stacking wood and things are looking good. I really like this aspect of it. The farming's really cool. And this, this part is, is cool as well because you daily you're getting something. It's nice to see that because it, it just kind of feels good. Like you, you can see it kind of climbing up. You can see your stacks rising. You get more and more wood versus like the farm. Um, that stuff there you know um each one takes a week so i guess pros and cons to each they're both cool but um I, I appreciate both in different ways now how did i jump to an axe that was a little tough and it was a stretch so what happened was i had i had two fishing poles and i was excited for these fish, fishing poles so i had the two fishing poles and the hourly clicks were just not working for me so i had the the axe tools, which were every three hours, so that was cool. I had the um, the farm, which was every four hours, so that was cool. And then I had the two fishing poles requiring every hour. And for me, it was nice, nice to have that food coming in. I'm like, man, you know, these memberships, they make my wood chopping more efficient. They make it way better. So I had seen that for the, for the two fishing poles, I could sell those and get one axe that ax would benefit from two bronze memberships. So for me, that seemed like a no brainer. Um, I think the, the wax per day goes up on that. I think it's by an extra 40. So 
Um, so in, on, my, on my part, it was a good move because not only am I earning potentially more wax per day, I'm using these membership cards better that I currently have and I get to sleep. <laughs> so I get to sleep knowing that I'm not missing six to eight fishing attempts. My plan from here is to get a fishing net. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to earn that. I'm really gonna have to earn that. So I'm gonna do what I can to get to get the wood and, and to earn it. Um, it might take a while. Basically, I want the fishing net or even poles again. But next time I want to have a, I think at least a silver membership card for fishing. I just need to have some membership card for the fishing and I'm good. So that, that every hour just got to me, you know? Um, I play legit, not doing any bots. So the hourly thing didn't work out. Now I'm gonna have to get a food membership card and get back into fishing. For now, I'm happy with the axes. I'm happy with the with the crops. Let's talk about what my what my farm is making. I think that's important to take a look at. So we have two stone axes and we have one regular axe. I want to say the ancient stone axe is like five wax a day, maybe. We'll just call it five. So the crops are bringing in. 396 wax a week. This 396 wax is after I've paid for food and after I've paid for a new seed. So that part's cool. And then the tools, the tools is 146 wax a day. So my farm is bringing in $180 a week. That's the crops. And my tools are bringing in roughly $66 a day. I'm, I'm really happy with that. It's just nice to, to keep track and see where things are going. And in some of these videos, I've already kind of mentioned this. So as as time goes on, we'll be able to keep track. You know, I'm, I'm interested to see what happens, um, you know, if, if these cryptos keep going up. And I'm also interested to see what happens in the bear market. So I think the bear market will be interesting. Who knows? Who knows? So I'm just excited. I'm just excited like you. I like, pl I like playing this game. I like the investment part of it. This is the future of gaming. It's taking us to a whole new level. And it's allowing people like you and me, regular people, uh, people in the Philippines, people um, in America, people all over the world to to have a chance, you know, to maybe have a second income or maybe even replace their first income. You know, it's exciting times. I'm, I'm glad to be here. I hope you enjoyed the update. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.